Hey guys, how you doing? So, just finished watching Nintendo's press conference. Um, yeah, a bit deflated. <sighs> okay, right, I don't even, I mean, I'm just going to be completely honest about what I think about this press conference now. So, first up, they started the press conference. Miyamoto came out and discussed Pikmin 3. Pikmin 3 looks absolutely beautiful, no doubt about it. The graphics look great, the water looks great, the game actually looks a lot of fun. And I can see it being a really great top of the system and the controller is going to add that bit of innovation which is fantastic. They showed that the black Wii U on stage which was great, it looks absolutely gorgeous, really like that. The controller and the console are beautiful. Reggie said obviously they're not going to talk about hardware yet, that's going to come in the future because they want to focus on games. Uh, to be honest I don't think they succeeded at all. Uh, I was not, I, I'm not happy. Um, I'm kind of half and half, and I'll explain why once I've gone through what they talked about. He has said, obviously, you know, they're not going to talk about hardware today. They did mention that there will be Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and Amazon Video available in the future. But, you know, in coming months, they'll talk about that. Uh, he also confirmed that you can use two gamepads with the Wii U, which is brilliant, because I know a lot of people have asked about that, and, you know, that's something that's been a big issue since last year, so that's great they're doing that. Uh, new, that Mario game is real, it's called New Super Mario Bros. U. Um, now it's interesting because I actually initially thought it looked great and I still do, it looks a beautiful game. But I watched the video yesterday, a video response to my video for the pre-Nintendo um, video uh, from a good guy called, a great guy in fact, called Woodley on YouTube. And he made a really good point actually that the New Super Mario Bros. U game, it doesn't look any different graphically to what you can get with the original Wii through a component cable. And after watching it again today, I think you're absolutely right mate, it doesn't really to be honest. It looks really, really nice, but yeah, I mean, I think if you put it side by side with new Super Mario Brothers on the Wii, I don't think you'd really see much of a difference graphically, so that's a bit of a disappointment. Then they showed Arkham City Batman, and it's called the Armored Edition. Now, unfortunately, my internet decided to freeze up on me and I had to refresh the page, so I missed a fair bit of that bit of the presentation. And I only caught like, the tail end of it, so I could only see sort of what they were doing with the controller. It looked cool, there seemed to be lots of different options on the controller screen, on the gamepad screen. So I don't really know exactly what that's about, so I need to go and check that out and have a proper look at that. Uh, it's a game called Scribble Noughts Unlimited, which, as far as I'm aware, Scribble Noughts was a DS game, I never played it myself. Looks okay. Uh, and then they had a quick movie reel just to show games that are coming out, same thing they had last year really, and they've got Dark, Dark Siders, a really interesting one was Mass Effect 3, I did not see that coming at all, so that's interesting, and Tekken Tag 2 as well, I'm amazed that's coming to Nintendo, I know they were making a second game for the Wii U, but I didn't know it was going to be Tekken Tag 2, I thought that would be exclusive to PlayStation, so that's really cool, uh, a game called Treen, is it, Treen, Shrine, don't know, number 2, Director's Cut, Ninja Gaiden, 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 who cares, whatever it's called, and Aliens, Colonial Marines, which we know about anyway. The real was okay, but unfortunately with that trailer, you don't know what machine they were running on, I don't know if they were using Xbox and Playstation footage, or they were actual Wii U footage, didn't they say, so, don't know. Next up was Wii Fit again, whoopie do uh, it's called Wii Fit U, some new training methods, yeah, great. Uh, oh God, another thing they brought out is a thing called Sing, which is a working title, karaoke, basically the the, the gist is that one person holds the gamepad in their hand vertically and the lyrics come down on the screen and they sing along and the people in the room join in with you and you're asking to clap and oh god, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then I have to free the S for a couple of seconds because I don't want to talk about it too much because tomorrow night they're doing a one hour special where they talk about all of the 3DS games that are coming, third party, first party. They did obviously mention a couple, uh, New Super Mario Brothers 2, which we all knew about, it looks fantastic. Paper Mario Sticker Star, and Luigi's Mansion was mentioned again, which looks absolutely gorgeous. They also showed a quick trailer of some games, uh, Castlevania Mirror of Fate, it looks bloody brilliant. A really interesting and cool game, and something that's made me think I shouldn't have sold my free Yes, <laughs> is Mickey Mouse Power of Illusion, which has got the same sound effect as Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion on the Sega Mega Drive Genesis which was really cool and it looked great. And there was Kingdom Hearts 3D for all the Kingdom Hearts fans who keep complaining that there's no new game, so there you go, you got one. Then they showed Lego City Undercover. Oh, yeah, okay, don't really care. Um, I like Lego games, all right, but I wouldn't rush out and buy one, it wouldn't make me want to buy a console. 
that's for damn sure. They said it was also going to come to the 3DS, great. Right, okay then, Ubisoft, Yves Guillemont, Gil or whatever the hell you say his name, Yves came out, uh, said he loves the Wii U, great console, all that. Talked about it, Just Dance 4, couldn't care less. Then the really cool bit came, they showed us some footage of Zombie U, which is, was announced yesterday at Ubisoft's press conference, which is great. And some of the things that I've written down that really stood out for me were the sniper mode, which was really cool, where if you want to snipe a zombie, you hold the gamepad in front of the TV screen like that, and you get the target on the screen on the gamepad, and you can zo snipe a zombie, very cool, I love that. Uh, another thing was, oh yeah, you can shake zombies off, so you can hold it like that and get them like that, and use this accelerometer, very cool. And all they showed a really cool thing was where you're in a room, it looked like a train station, I think it was, or something, and zombies are attacking you, and there's a keypad that you've got to get the code to get through the door. And you use the control, uh, that's the control pad, <laughs> you use the gamepad, and you hold it up vertically like that, and you can go do 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 on the screen like that, do the keypad. I thought that was a really cool feature and a good idea. And it looks as though Ubisoft have really put some thought into how this controller is going to interact with the game. And I really like that, very impressive. Uh, it's about the only impressive thing I saw, actually. <laughs> and last of all, Reggie talked about a thing called Nintendo Land, which is going to be a package of classic Nintendo franchises for different worlds. And it's basically, essentially, it's going to be a packing by the look of it. They said it's coming out the same day as the console, so it's going to be a packing. It's like your Wii Sports. It's essentially some mini games to teach people how to use the controller. And they showed one with the Ninja Throwing Stars, which looks actually a lot of fun, I'm going to enjoy that. And they showed that on the, the real last year, and they showed the demo, you know, you get the pad and you like that, and throw Ninja Stars. Very cool, looking forward to that one. They had Luigi's Ghost Mansion, which essentially, if you saw the demos last year at E3, they had a demo called Chase Me, where one person holds the gamepad and can see the map, and see where all the players are, while all the other players use Wii Motes. And they run around a maze, and then you have to, they have to try and find you, but they can't see you, but you can see where they are on the gamepad. Very cool. They've now repackaged it as Luigi's Ghost Mansion. Um, yeah, it looks really, really fun. And I think that'd be great for a party game. But as I say, it's not, you know, it's not meant to be a proper game. It's just like Wii Sports. It's just a bit of fun. Comes with the console. You open it up. If you don't know how to use the controller, it runs you through all the basics and gets you used to using the controller when you play proper games. Great stuff. Now, I've got a big question at the bottom here, and that is, who are the third-party partners? We've got Ubisoft, we understand that. Where are the rest of them? They didn't mention anything. They, Reggie said they got third-party partners and that, great. But they didn't show anything. I mean, what the hell is going on? They had an hour's conference, right? An hour is not long enough. They should have had an hour and a half, I don't know what they were thinking. Two hours max. But... What the hell, man? They had an ammo to show everything that would convince people that the Wii U was the next best thing to buy. And I've got to be honest, they failed. They didn't do it at all. I don't know if they have something up their sleeves that they're holding back, because it's is Nintendo and they tend to do that. Or is that just it? Is that what's supposed to convince people that the Wii U is worth a purchase? Are us gamers supposed to be convinced? I mean, I don't really see that convincing the Wii faithful that they need to upgrade their system to the Wii U. I really don't. I think, honestly, when it goes mainstream, it's in the newspapers and on the, the TV and on news, I think people are going to be like, well, what's the point? What does it really offer other than that new controller? Which, quite honestly, it ain't worth the money to upgrade just for that. Uh, it's really disappointing. They should have come out hardcore and said, like, these are the games we have. These are the exclusive third-party games. These are the exclusive first-party games. We're bringing back classic franchises like Star Fox F-Zero, you know, here's a new Zelda game, here's a new 3D Mario game. They should have really gone full force, hardcore, show us all the games, really impress us all, make us all go, thank you Nintendo, you finally get it, and we can go out there, pre-order the Wii U, and be very happy on day one. And they failed miserably. They really did fail, and I hate to say that, because I've been so looking forward to this console. I've been hyped for it for the last year, I've been dying for them to get it right. And it looked like they were, when they... on. Um, Two days ago, and they had the pre free video, and they showed all this Miiverse stuff, which I think is fantastic, and I think it's got great potential, and I really like the social element, and I'm going to love the online. But god damn it, man, what is going on with the games? Where are they? What? I just don't understand. I do not get what they were thinking, what Reggie was thinking. I don't know if it's Nintendo of Japan restraining Nintendo of America, or it's a, a joint effort from Nintendo to just not really understand the industry and I just don't get it, what is happening, what is going on, it's ridiculous really. I mean, all they had to do was just come out and show games and show how the controller 
will make games better. I mean, my friend texted me while I was playing, while watching the conference, he was watching it as well, and you know, his comment was that basically Batman Arkham City looks like the 360 version, and yes it does. You know, the graphics aren't amazing, it doesn't look next gen, but I'm going to be completely, totally honest, I've said before that graphics were not going to be a massive deal for me when it came to the Wii U, and I honestly stick by that because I think at the end of the day, yes, like any or anyone out there who plays video games, I like a beautiful looking game, I like a lush environment, something that immerses me into this story and you know gets me involved. However, it's not essential. You know, I still play games from 1995 on my Super Nintendo which look absolutely beautiful for the technology that they had at the time. It's all about what the developers can get from the tech that they are given. They don't have to be ultra realistic, ultra detailed. It's nice to have that, but it's not essential. Gameplay is far superior and far more important to me personally as a gamer than graphics will ever be. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be retro gaming, it's that simple. And Woodlin said exactly the same thing and he moved bang on the money. Absolutely right. However, I am going to buy a Wii U. There's no doubt about it. I'm still buying one because I still see the potential that that controller holds. And after seeing Zombie U as well, it showed what could be done in a, in a, I hate the word hardcore, but I mean, it's the only way you can explain it, but yeah, in a hardcore experience. You know, it basically in a normal, proper game. I mean, I, I don't even, there's no real way of explaining it other than using stupid terms like proper game and hardcore and all that crap. But, you know, in a, in a standard game situation, I can see that that controller, that game pack, is going to offer a hell of a lot. And it shows that developers can make an effort and can really think outside the box. And Ubisoft seems to be doing the right thing, and I'm impressed. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm still going to buy the console. I, I'm absolutely going to buy. It. I'm going to stick by it, and I've just got to hope to God that they come up with some better games and that they make an effort. Because I don't want to be stuck just playing Aliens, Colonial Marines, and Zombie U. I want some more games. I want a variety. Uh, I just don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. I don't understand what the hell just happened in the last hour, and I'm very disappointed. But. I'm still going to buy the console, so where the hell does that leave me? I don't know. Uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Did you watch the conference? What do you think? If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. Please leave me a comment, post a video response. Just let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think Nintendo's going to get a shitload of hate from people now, and all the Xbox fanboys are going to just laugh their asses off now and just, just obliterate Nintendo on the internet as they always do anyway, unfortunately, because most people won't understand the potential of the controller and they'll just go, Graphics are shit, they look like this generation, games look shit, who cares? They're not really going to understand you know, the possibilities, but I'm fed up with trying to explain that because it never gets you anywhere, does it really? It's a waste of time, people don't listen. Uh, plus people just like to troll and just to uh, you know, talk shit because they've got nothing better to do at the time. But yeah, overall, very disappointed, um, not impressed in the slightest. Zombie U was the only highlight for me, it looked bloody brilliant, really want to play that game, great stuff. So at least Ubisoft's on the right track with that and Rayman Legends. Uh, and they've got Assassin's Creed 3, which is cool, but that's more so, yeah. Uh Yeah, anyway guys, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for watching. See you all again soon.